Okay, we are going to find the second derivative of 9x squared plus y squared is equal to 9. And if you would like, you can isolate the y and things like that, but we can do this implicitly, okay? So I will look at this as how it is, and I will go ahead and write down d dx. To mean that, we will be differentiating this with respect to x. And now here we go. The derivative of 9x squared, you do the power rule, so you get 18x to the first power, and that's it. Next, take the derivative with respect to x of y squared. You first bring the 2 to the front and then minus 1. So you get plus 2y. However, don't forget that the inside function here is y. And we have to multiply by the derivative of y because of the chain rule. So we multiply by the dy dx right here. And this is how we squeeze out the dy dx. And this is pretty much it for the left-hand side. And for the right-hand side, we take the derivative of 9. And this is just a constant, so we get 0 for that. And this is pretty much it for the first derivative. And we can just isolate the dy dx from here, right? Now let's bring the 18x to the other side. So we have 2y dy dx being equal to negative 18x, like this. And from here, we can divide both sides by 2y. So we see that dy dx is just equal to negative 18 over 2 is negative 9. And then we have the x right here over y. So this is it for the first derivative. And to get the second derivative, we are going to look at this right here and then differentiate it again. So let me bring this right here and I'll write it down. We already know that dy dx is equal to negative 9x over y. And to differentiate this, I will just write down d dx like that. And as you can see, the notation-wise on this side, you have d and dy. So usually people will just put down d2y okay, for the top. And then for the bottom, you have dx dx. This is going to be dx2. You don't need to put down a parenthesis. This is actually the notation for the second derivative. And once again, this is the reason why we put down the 2 right here, because you have the d and dy. So you have the 2 right here. And for the 2 on the bottom, it's because we have the dx dx twice. So that's why. And this is the second derivative. Anyway, on the right-hand side, this is a quotient of 9 x, negative 9x and y. To find the derivative, we have to use the quotient rule. So I'm going to first square the denominator, namely I put down the y and I'll raise that to a second power. And I will bring the bottom function up right here, which is y, and times the derivative of the top. Derivative of negative 9x is just negative 9. And then the quotient rule says we have to subtract the top function, namely negative 9x. And then we multiply by the derivative of the bottom. Here, the derivative of y is the dy dx. Derivative of y is dy dx. And notice, this is just the first derivative. So the second derivative is that. And we do have the first derivative right here. And if you look at this, one of the ways to simplify this is we already know what dy dx is, which is this right here. So let me clean things up for you guys. Here, this is just negative 9y. And then this is negative negative becomes positive, And we have the positive 9x. And then the dy dx, I will just write it down as that, namely we'll multiply by negative 9x over y, and then we divide it by y squared on the bottom, like this. So this is what we have at the moment. And if you look at this right here, we have a complex fraction because of this y. Therefore, let's go ahead, multiply the top and the bottom by this y. Okay. So we are going to have the following. Multiply this y with that, we have negative 9y squared, multiply this and that, the y's will cancel each other out. 
9x times negative 9x, negative times positive is negative, and then 9 times 9 is 81, and then x squared right here, right? And then on the denominator, we have y squared times y, which is y to the third power. This right here is it, but we can actually do better. You'll see. First of all, on the top, we notice we have negative, negative, and we have the 9 and 81. So let's go ahead and factor out negative 9. And then when we do that, here we will have y squared, and here it becomes positive, and then this is 9, and then we have the x squared, and then this is over y to the third power. When we do that, what is this? y squared plus 9x squared, it's in fact the original. You see, 9x squared plus y squared. And of course, when you add the water, it doesn't matter. So from the original, you see, this right here is nothing but just 9. So this right here is just equal to 9 from the original. So all in all, on the top, we have negative 9 times, times positive 9 which is negative 81. And then the denominator is just y to the third power. So I'll put this down. And you see that that is the second derivative of the original right here. And if you want the first derivative, you have this. And if you want the third derivative, go ahead and do this again.